Hey everyone, I'm Asia Dang and this is what I ate today. Now first things first is water. The very first thing I do is drink three cups of water before I literally do anything else. Our new place is particularly dry so I've actually had to get a humidifier. So drinking this much water is pretty necessary for me to just feel hydrated in the morning and to feel awake and like I'm ready to start my day. I love flavor water so we're just throwing in some lemon slices to spice things up a little little bit. Next for breakfast, as you all know, I love my smoothies. So it's so easy to just grab and go. In today's smoothie, I'm using almond milk, frozen bananas, where you just cut regular bananas and put them in the freezer and then they become frozen bananas. Burt's Bees protein powder, which is a new skew from them. I really like the easy travel packs and this is in the vanilla flavor and I've been using this for a couple weeks now and I really like it. I am also adding chia seeds, frozen fruit of your choice, and one tablespoon of almond butter. And then that's it, you just blend it all together. I don't use measurements for smoothies because it's just simply a smoothie. Um, so you can add or not add whatever it is you want to it. Though if you do want your smoothie to be on the thicker side, use more frozen fruit or ice. Yeah, so that's like the easiest smoothie in the world. And then to go along with the smoothie, I'm making some avocado toast, which is my favorite breakfast meal. So for bread, I'm using Ezekiel, which is a sprouted grain bread. One whole avocado mashed. I like it a little chunky. If you like it smoother, uh, mash it up a little bit smoother. And to the avocado, I'm adding the juice of a lemon, which will one, make sure that the avocado doesn't turn brown because you know, who wants that? And two, it adds more flavor to it. And then I'm also adding salt and pepper and then mix all that together. Once you're done with that, put the avocado on the toast to make avocado toast, and I'm topping this off with radishes. I really love radishes. They add a nice crunch to the toast, and they are actually really great saute too, if you wanna test that out. And then I'm adding a side of tomatoes. So this is my breakfast. It's really quick, really easy, and perfect for those on the go. I don't really like my breakfast to be too heavy, so you're never gonna find me eating eggs or bacon or any of that. This is pretty much my go-to breakfast. Now for lunch, I'm having yellow squash flatbread with a side of salad. First, you gotta preheat your oven to 450 degrees. Next, take some flatbread. Every grocery store should have some type of variation of flatbread. And sprinkle it with cheese. You can either do vegan cheese, mozzarella would be good as well, but today I'm using goat cheese because that's just what I have in the fridge. And then you top that with squash and scallions in which I have previously sauteed them in olive oil, salt, and pepper. Um, and that's basically it. You put that in the oven for 10 minutes until the bread is toasty and the cheese is melted. And then you top that off after you take it out of the oven with fresh basil, toasted pine nuts, chili flakes, and a drizzle of honey. If you wanna add meat like Brian does, we're gonna add some roasted chicken. So you can go ahead and do that. I made this beet salad last night, so I'm gonna add this to the side to make it a complete meal. Again, this flatbread is super, super good. It's a little sweet and spicy with a crunchy crust, and it's just, you know, so good. I've had it for dinner, I've had it for lunch. It's, it's perfect, it's the perfect lunch. Okay, now for today's snack, which is also super easy, that seems to be the theme today. Um, is popcorn. I like to pop my own popcorn because I know exactly what is in my popcorn, which is just coconut oil and corn, but use whatever you have. Popcorn is a low-fat snack alternative to chips, and I love me some chips, so this has kind of been a lifesaver. And I'm sprinkling my popcorn with furikake, which is a mix of nori or seaweed and sesame seeds. Uh, but if you don't have that, you can get it at, I think, you know, grocery stores will have it or an Asian market. But if you don't have that, uh, sprinkling popcorn with cayenne pepper would actually be equally as good as well. So you could do that. All right, and now for dinner, I'm using one of the recipes from my Hello Fresh box. Since it is Brian's first night back from the Philippines, he wanted something homey and hearty. So he picked the roasted half chicken dinner with potatoes, onions, and carrots. Now this is my third month using HelloFresh and I really, really love it. It's so easy. I don't have to worry about thinking about what to eat for dinner or going to the grocery store. It's, you know, basically dummy proof. I don't have to think about it. Plus the serving sizes are really generous, which makes Brian happy. 
As always, if you want to test it out, there's a $35 code in the description box. The code is ASIADANG. Just to help you out, save some money on your first order, check it out. Okay, so let's catch up. We've placed the veggies on a baking sheet with rosemary and thyme, coat that with olive oil, salt and pepper, and tossed until it was all nicely mixed. After that, take the chicken, and after patting the chicken dry, season with salt and pepper, and then rub some olive oil on the skin so it can get nice and crispy. And then place the chicken skin side up on top of the veggies on the baking sheet. And then you're just gonna roast it in a 450 degree oven until the juices run clear, so about 35 to 40 minutes. And people, that is it. <laughs> it's that simple. I just love one pot or one baking sheet recipes. It makes cleaning up such a cinch and I really appreciate it. Once the chicken is cooked through and the skin is nice and crispy, divide and serve. I have to say that Brian really enjoyed this um, meal being his first meal back in the country. And while the idea of roasting a chicken might seem intimidating, like I wasn't super into the idea of it at first, it was actually pretty simple. All right, everyone, so that's what I ate today. I hope you all liked it. Let me know what you ate today in the comment section, and I'll see you all later. Bye.